Bonus Diaz, keep up so you guys, y'all, the Motor Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go over how much I earned on my YouTube channel in 2021. Alright, so I'm a little bit late to the game on this video. I used to be pretty good every six months or so. I would share an update on how much the channel's earning, but it's been over a year since I did my last one. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So for 2021, total on the channel, I earned $21,000, $577, and I think like 57 cents. Stay tuned to the end. I'll go over how much I earned in 2020 and let you know why I think there was a big pay cut in uh, how much YouTube's paying me now. I mean, what the heck, man? Hey, but before we jump to the end, check this out. Beautiful, up here at South Mountain, Arizona, enjoying the mountain bike. All right, let's jump on the bike, head down to the bottom of the mountain and talk some more about it. And all right, we're back at La Casa. That was a uh, gnarly ride to say the least, but a lot of fun. So let's jump into it. How much did I make in 2020? Why did I have a pay cut? What the heck is going on? In 2020, I had made just under 30,000 bucks. So I had a 28% pay cut year over year. And in just a moment, I'm gonna go over why I had that pay cut. But before we do that, just to recap, if you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. Thanks to all the long-term subscribers as well. And basically what I do here on the channel is motorcycle related primarily, although I am starting to dabble a little bit in the mountain bikes. So you may see some mountain bike content as well, but primarily motorcycles, riding bikes, buying and selling a little bit, not so much anymore. And just doing stupid stuff on motorcycles. <laughs> Um. All right, so why the big pay cut from 2020 to 2021? The interesting thing is YouTube's actually paying me more now per 1,000 views than they were back in 2020. The thing is I wasn't nearly as active last year on the channel than I had been the year prior, and that's the reason there's a pay cut. A lot of people think it has to do with number of subscribers that you have, but that has nothing to do with it. I have 62,000 subscribers, and when I had 30,000 subscribers, I was actually making more on the channel. The reason being is I was more active and had more views. So it all comes down to number of views that you have. The more views equals more money but with youtube paying more now per thousand views if i do hustle and get more active on the channel it's cool to know that i could potentially make a lot more money all right so any tips or tricks if you're out there thinking about starting up a youtube channel the only thing i can say is give it a shot but number one thing you got to do is be consistent i really grind i had to grind a lot do a ton of work up front initially in order to get my channel to where now it's still generating revenue and yeah it, it, consistency is key there are people out there who just kind of have a knack for knowing how to market well and how to do the editing and videos and everything that people want to see. And so some people will take off faster than others, but I think for the average person out there like me, who I don't have any background in this type of thing, you just got to put in the work and listen to your viewers, try out new things, kind of see what sticks and what works and just be real consistent with it. My main rule with YouTube has always been that I gotta be having fun doing it. So there have been times where it just wasn't as fun for me doing the channel and I had to step back a little bit. But generally speaking, as long as I keep that at the forefront of my mind, if I'm having fun with it and just not taking it too serious, then it's a good time. And as you can see, you can potentially make some money. So, you know, 20,000 bucks extra in the year, uh, pre-tax, that's not half bad. And it beats, you know, some side job where, I gotta punch a clock, you know, and have somebody supervising and being a boss of me, you know, what the heck. So all things considered, I'm pretty stoked with it. And I'll be curious to see what 2022 has in store. I haven't been doing a ton on the channel, but I'm getting to a point now where I'll probably start picking it up some more. So we'll see what happens. There you have it, you guys. John's Moto Garage, those are my 2021 earnings. 21,000 bucks basically is what we made on the channel. Not as great as 2020, but hey, we're still having fun with it. Drop a comment below, let me know what you guys think. Are you surprised by those earnings? Disappointed, are you pissed off? Drop a comment below, let me know. And like and subscribe if you dig it. I appreciate all the support. We'll catch you guys next time. Adios, hasta luego, nos vemos.
I'll be behind you guys.